Continue playing. Let's go. Chapter 2, 7.31 p.m. These are very specific times. I enjoy that. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. This guy. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting. It's all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm ready. I'm really prepared for what's to come. I'm here in the phone. Mm, yes, it's, if what I read in this file is true, this woman could be quite a bede bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased tonight. Confound that nearsighted Chico. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. Our, I've already taken the next step, sir. Look how tall this guy is. <laughs> Sorry. That's how you use computers. Tip, 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 smack. Hmm, yes. But I say the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Who is she? Even if it was only over the phone. I must admit, my good man, it put me quite the tizzy for there for a moment. Ha ha ha. What is this place? It is oddly luxurious furnishings. This oddly refined music. And that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure. These people are assassins. And what's more, that red-headed woman is another one of their targets. That file the old man has. Maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. Updated the phone book. Ooh. Let's see it. Uh, Eyebrowed villain. The man who gave near Jigo the order to kill. He's probably behind my death. And the red headed woman's death, too. But his motives are unknown. Look at him eating grapes. And the little thing. <laughs> Masked muscle man. He appears to be the old man's servant. He operates the machines in the stream room expertly. Oh, yes. I'm so glad they have that animation. Who's tap 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 smack. <laughs> Slap it. <laughs> Uh, I would like to examine this, please. It seems this file contains information about that redhead. But I can't read it when it's closed. What do you mean? G Great Scott, did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target, Miss Lin, is no longer a threat, sir. Miss Lin, you say? Hmm. Ah, that's not what I'm talking about, man! Hmm, Lin, eh? That's her name, is it? But this file. It's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Bruh. Bruh. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? Slap. <laughs> Slap. Oh damn, that's a fancy filing cabinet. Slap! <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, fruit! You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Oh yes, eat the grapes. G? Darn! This is a pickle. The phone and I got put away neatly. And the only thing I learned is the name Lynn. This sure is a weird room. I traveled through the phone line to get here, but where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? I don't know. That's a trick, I guess. What can I do? Lamp. Projector. Operate. Lamp. I can't reach anything else. Okay, I guess I have to operate the projector. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ta-da! Egad, man! Are you trying to give me a case of the papers? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Ah, granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it is just plain off. Confound it! 
Hmm, yes, in any case, I don't wish to see the face of my current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Uh... Slap. Hey, it's me! Uh, hey, that's... Hmm, yes, Sissel. Is that my name? If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yes. It's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. But I'm dead. Sissel, that must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. Atila? What could that be about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? Am I secretly a bad guy? Slap! <laughs> oh, I got sucked back up. Well, we are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Go back to eating grapes. He has so many pictures of himself, narcissistic much? Mm, yes. Now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. One thing's clear, these villains seem to know me. And another thing, there seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? I don't know, man. Eh. Eh, I can't reach anything. Weh. Can't do anything on the lamp. Eh. Let's go back. Let's operate again. Scare him again. Where is your head, man? I told you I didn't wish to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man. Unless you want to see me malfunction. Certainly, sir. Slap! <laughs> uh, these guys murdered me and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection do we have with each other? I don't know, man. G. Spinning this painting around makes the old man's head spin, but that's about it. I've got to find the right timing and get beyond this projector. What I need tonight is a way to flip this situation around. Uh... I don't know, just keep pressing it. <laughs> what is your head, man? Same stuff. Sorry, Lizard. Hmm. The red check mark means I already read it. Got it. Okay, then. Let's see if I find something else to do. I can't do anything when I'm on the lamp. Hmm. Trick. Nah, it doesn't do anything. Okay. And there's nothing this does, is there? Nope. Hmm. Can't reach that. I already operated that. Can't reach that either. Maybe if I... How fast can I operate things? Aha! I've done it! Puzzle! Same stuff, same stuff. Flip me back around, please. Now I'm at the bottom. Now I don't need to see this again. Oh wait, what was he saying? H! I say, this room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. 
hot with painting, spinning around and the like. It's enough to give him a man the jitters. My apologies, sir. The one was just completed recently, sir. We're still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Hmm, yes. I just hope that's all it is. I mean, egad, man. How am I supposed to re relax and enjoy my grapes? I don't know. I think I should scare him some more. Fruit. Can I touch that? Operate, you say? Hmm. Oop, I slap. Whee! It's a miserable state of affairs when I can't even be star- when I can even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. Hey, Dad! Uh, mushy mushy. It's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice. Bah! The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. What? Lynn? Hmm, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead. Tango, to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting it, sir. Very good, very good. Lynn is in danger again! Phone! This is one step ahead, Dango. I'm at the target's apartment now. And? How with it, man? Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It's only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? I don't get it. But in any case, man, once you've taken care of her... Then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division? Bah! No, man! Now you're even getting one step ahead of me! We can discuss my new salary later. Great, Scott! Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead! I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it! You're even hanging up one step ahead! And he's gone. <laughs> Uh, Lynn's apartment, you say? What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of Nearsighted Jiko's pay. Lynn, I can't lose her! She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me! Uh, we dial. Lynn's apartment! Let's go! Whee! This telephone guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Oh, hi, who are you? Hmm, it looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. No, it's a dead doggy! An even unluckier little doggy! <laughs> a poor brave little warrior! He must have been trying to defend his mistress. He's so evil, he shot the dog! If Lynn came home now, I have to do something about the situation, and fast! Trick time! I'm gonna possess the dog. Huh? Where am I? And more to the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course, do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach each other, each other, each reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are? Presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see. The dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. Uh, so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! There's no time to lose! Oh, Tucky! Miss Camille! My Miss Camille is in trouble! Uh, you mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right, I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. I'm a Pomeranian. You're adorable. <laughs> well, I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Kamala! Miss Kamala! 
My Miss Camilla's in trouble, and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to get, go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his this. Time to save this his life. Okay, that's not just me reading that wrong, right? Phone book's updated. It's rewind time. <laughs> Bling! Mice and die. Uh, oops, didn't read that. Let's see. First of all, I'd better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Huh, you followed me. I followed you. You brought me with you. One or the other. Hmm, it looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you a bit surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and... Not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk the back roads through time. So that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started! Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to be sniff out a few clues. Aw, Doggy's so cute. So she dropped the remote underneath the chair. Uh-huh. Turns on the TV in that. Oh, so cute! Okay, neighbor doesn't like the dog. No, Missile, you're not supposed to bark! The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. Look at her hair. It looks like a rose. If it barks it again, I'll knock the wall down. Oof, oof. You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? <sighs> Why do you like to bark so much anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really wanted to watch TV, too. Hey, I know. I'll listen to music. Whoa! Whoops! Whew, that was close. Oh, doggy, doggy. That, those are donuts. I thought those were onion rings. Oh, a donut on the ground for the doggy. Oh no, never mind. A rat. You have rats in your building. Uh oh, we made the lady angry again. I'll knock this wall down! <laughs> she can't hear shit right now. Oh! It's the man. Hmm, I don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate charge, and accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. He shot the doggy. So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, oh, look at that. I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. Uh, let's see. How are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way for, would be for you to take a big bite of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I can do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it. Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is to get the little lady to help herself somehow. Aw, I don't think she could do that. Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things... Uh, oh, you mean the headphones? Whenever she put those red things on, that's it. I could call her name and tell her my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. Hmm, you're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. She can't hear a fucking gunshot? Damn, those headphones are loud. 
So maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have we have to do something about that. Wee rewind. Okay, we have to do something about the headphones. Let's see. Folding umbrella. Extend. Uh retract. Poke it again. Ah. G, what's up? Oh, so close! You almost knocked those red things down. Hey, I think you're onto something here. If we drop them in the fish tank, Camilla won't be able to use them anymore. What if we drop them in the fish tank? Liz Camilla will get a scolding from Miss Lynn. All you have to do is pretend it was your fault. That's the way out of that's the way of the honorable warrior. <laughs> okay. But you've obviously never seen Miss Lynn when she gets mad. Mm, no, I've not. Gotta be honest. What's uh, in this if I open it? Oh, okay. Oops, the lady's angry. Is there anything else I can get to? Look like it. Maybe if she brings. Oh, when she brings the donuts closer. H. All right. That's what she says. No missile. Bad missile. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna smack her with the door. Maybe. Oh yeah. <laughs> H. Ow, why is this acting up all of a sudden? I don't really like getting smacked by doors, especially in my own house. It's like the door is a bad dog, but I didn't hand that feeds it. Although, with Missile, it's more nibbling at the tip of my nose than my hand. Aw, Missile's so cute. Oh, good boy. those headphones too. Why would you hang them above the fish tank? How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Okay, I'm Doggy. <laughs> Darn, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla, I'm only doing it to save you. So what, now you think you're one of the gods? Huh? Huh? No, never mind that. The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now, we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Hey, changed! Ding ding! Let's wait and see if uh, she brings the donuts over again. Huh, yes, yeah, she does. She's still in the mood for donuts. Uh. Oh, sorry, what was G? The question is. What do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had a big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit! Hmm. Doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in, so in that case... Oh, I have an idea! Why don't we hide, Miss Camilla? Hide, huh? That sounds just like the kind of idea a little dog can come up with. Are you making fun of me? Oh, where could a little lady hide in this room? Hmm, I think I might have just the place. But there's just one little problem. How to get Miss Camilla there in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess Camilla herself, the edge would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way to do that is to lead her there. Well, now what can I do using the objects in this room? I think I'll try out various things and see what I can come up with. Now I'll be here watching, cheering you on. Oh, do we want to get her to go in here? Hmm. Move the cart, and I can rock a bowl. What happens if I rock the bowl? Uh, rat. What happens if I move the cart? Oh, 
Ooh, I'm over here now. Miss Snippy barked at that and it would start howling. If we keep this up, that wall is going to come down on our heads before we know it. Well, you will protect me if anything bad happens, right, Miss Snippy? Well, of course I will. That's quite a bit promised for a little fellow. Put them guys up against some formidable opponents. The men in black and the woman in purple. You're right, that's pretty formidable indeed. Let's see. Can I go up here? Ah, I can. What can I do here? I can play. <laughs> Shut that mutt up! <laughs> we, we make noise. We make trouble. What if I rock this again? G. If you bark like that, how could anybody enjoy that pretty melody? And your poor mistress has to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I truly am embarrassed by my own behavior. Hey, look at that. One of the ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. You should try graduating from needless barking, too. Oh. Sorry, that's one thing I could just never give up. That's rude. Gee. Can't make another donut fall. What do we do now? Without that donut, the squeaky guy won't come and I won't bark. Yeah, and the barking car is your favorite, right? Mm, looks like only one donut will fall. We only get one chance. Okay. Can't get closer, can I? What if I... Time it. Uh, right. Oh, it's right there. There. Is that close enough? It is. Rotate faster. Okay. <laughs> is it gonna break? Oh, oh god, oh god. Oh, I can touch this now. Turn the latch. G. Something just fell, and quite dramatically, too. It was a wooden box, kind of heavy. I wonder what it was doing there. I'm just glad it didn't fall on Miss Camilla's head. Me too. We don't need to add the number of ghosts around here. Okay. Uh... Can I reach this? Painting. Rock. Okay, sure. I'll rock the painting. Sure, I'll bite. That's it? Okay. Ah! Ah! Right there! <laughs> this thing needs to go slower. Rotate slower, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Door lamp. Door. Doors open this. Sure. G. Wow, you said that thing's lying! I like to tidy up by shoving ice wars under the sofa. <laughs> hey, how come when you're looking at me when you say that? Hey, wait a minute. Under the sofa, eh? That might be a spot the hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it, Miss Camilla climbs under the sofa all the time, trying to catch me. You're a naughty little doggy, aren't you? So my new plan is to hide the little lady under the sofa. The only problem is, the only problem now is, how do I lead her under there? That is a good question. Mm hmm. What if I play this again? Shut that mutt up! Okay, she doesn't want anything to do with that. What exactly are you barking about anyway? Well, just look at it. It's all sparkly and glittery, and it turns around and around. Besides, it plays that exciting music. Well, what else can I do but bark? Tell me this, then. Exactly what are you thinking when you bark like that? Well, let's see. That time there, if I had to put my feelings into words, I'd say they were... Welcome! <laughs> 
guess that about sums it up. I guess it's the kind of feeling I'll never quite understand. You're right, you're right. Okay, I think I get it. I think I need to... Rock the donuts over here so that it goes underneath the couch and then she'll climb under there. Okay, let's hit the reset button. Let's reset after the fate change. I like this checkpoint, that's good. Okay, so then I'll go over here and I'll wait for her to bring the donuts over. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. And then... What's funny? What's wrong? Telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Oh, whoops, I hit E. You can't use the telephone lines in the formats before death world. Got it. That was my bad. So then let's move the cart. Okay. But where'd the donuts go? Now she's over here. And then let's see. Let's make sure. I don't know, should I grab the... Actually, let's rock the donut out. Donut's over there now. And then... If I pause it right there... there and then I can smack the rat <laughs> and the rat's like just sitting there missile no now she's under there too you live under here you silly boy oh my little missile you're always doing the cutest things so cute and there he is! Hmm. Nobody's here, eh? Ben sits down. My prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. Ooh, donuts! Damn, dude ate donuts in one bite. There! Our little lady's fate has been averted. It has? Poor thing is still curled up in the ball and shaking with fear. Oh yeah, that's true. But that's not so bad in the scheme of things. I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it, didn't we? We did it! <laughs> well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I changed Miss Camilla? Yep. You're not the one who's you're the one who let her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh, thank you! Wait, averted! Can I ask a question? Sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently, they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I, uh, I guess? That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now, but they won't budge for me! Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair! Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the powers of the dead. So what's going to happen to me now? Nothing really, your death has been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe, if you die again. What you did for me tonight. I'll never forget it! <laughs> I guess, well, we'd better get back, be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. Time to see what happens next. And now, a new present is born. 
the little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear, and the little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> ring ring, who is it? What? Still at the drunk yard. All right, got it. I'm on my way. <laughs> I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me out on this one. I better hurry. No, <laughs> he opens the door with his gun. <laughs> so she's safe now. that all about you saved me didn't you missile i just i just know you did ah! maybe i shouldn't answer it no nah, no nah, answer it missile's so cute <laughs> lynn trick time ghosty boy wants to go check it out oh shit i saw g a call from Lynn, eh? It sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. I'd better go possess that phone and listen in. You're right. Let's go possess a phone. There's that little doggy. We're curled up on the floor. Dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back for him. That's fine, but what's up with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Desk Lamp taught me. So what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? I'd better try possessing him and see. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's you! It's you! It's... Hmm. Come to think of it, I never did ask your name. I guess it's good we ran into each other again, then. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together? The drama? That tearful goodbye? I'm Missile! But, you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me, now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it! Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear, and the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes. Huh, I got that. Hi, Missile. I'm going over here to possess a phone. Let me listen in on your conversation. Come on! Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me! You've got to get out of there right now! What about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger, just a little while ago. Meet me at the restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen, on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? I don't know, that's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. You can't very well call it a music box then, can you? More like just a box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big, and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Who is that? Hello? Excuse me. Lynn! Oh, she freaking threw the phone. Good job, girl. Not again! That's two things in the tank now. Darn, now I've dropped the phone in there, too. How about if we tell her you did, Missile? But I sure hope Lynn's alright. I better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Look, look. Help me look, okay? Oh, this is so cute. I know where the music box is. Oh, gee. 
the oh shh, don't worry about the cart moving by itself. I guess the phone's dead now too. What are the odds that would happen? Looks like our little lady is a bit of a klutz. Next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in the tank. Anyway, something is happening to Lynn. I'd better help Camilla find her treasure. Mm, I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what. But I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. Dude, imagine not knowing what a music box is. Don't worry, I got it. I know what it is. Hey. I like this part. Spin faster. Uh... <laughs> It's just that easy. You can turn it. G. That wooden box that just fell. That just might be the music box we're looking for. I bet the little lady will know when she sees it. We're really close now. Ugh. Let's rotate slower. This is a wild ass ornament to have in your house. A thing that like just spins on your ceiling. I think I'll play with this. That'll bring her attention to it. Woof woof! Woof woof! Ding! Hey look! Box! This is it! The music box! Yippee! Dun 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 dun! <laughs> music box get! I'll leave the remote here. But don't you touch it, missile! the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flattened underneath that wall when I came home. Yeah, that'd be bad. Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away, and no barking. And that's barking right there. Now oh, shit, she ran off without me. Aw, Missile. What a good boy. Still no peace for the little lady, and the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Dun, 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 dun. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too. Because there's something I must do. The question is, how do I get about how do I go about getting out of here? That is a good question. Ooh, new illustration. And a new achievement. A clear chapter two. 